Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is time for another TJ Maxx shop with me. Today is a makeup free day. I have been testing so many products for my speed reviews video coming soon, so I needed to give the skin a little bit of a break. I wanted to take you guys with me to TJ Maxx to see what's new. I like to film these a couple times a month. We go over mostly the beauty section, body care, fragrance. I love to see just like a little bit of everything. We do go over some of the clothes, etc. Accessories. So just having a good time shopping together at the discount stores. You guys always tell me I find the best stuff, which is crazy coming from Iowa stores. I mean, I feel like you wouldn't expect much from Iowa having some good stuff, but I do go to about three or four different TJ Maxx's over a span of a couple weeks time. So that's how I find a lot of stuff. I go like once or twice a week or so. But anyways, I'm excited to see what's new with the stores so let's go ahead and get to shopping so the first thing I saw walking in today was the bags because they had some really cute juicy bags I immediately put this one in my car how cute is this it's like a blinged out juicy bag $34.99 it's this light blush pink really nice size so dang cute and then they also have it in this hot pink as well so I'm debating if I want to grab this because I just think that is one of the cutest ones that I've personally seen. I just think the hot pink might be too crazy for me. Some more little Steve Madden bags that they have. A bunch of different colors in this style. And then here's another new Juicy bag that's orange. They're definitely coming out with some new styles. This is $24.99. Lots of fun colors too. Over here, I'm seeing some little Disney bags. This is a really cute duffel. Let's see. By Sack to Sport. That's really fun. This is $39.99. Oh, look at this. It's a rainbow a little pastel juicy. This reminds me of those Louis bags that had this kind of pastel ombre. So cute. I've noticed that this puffy bag style being very popular right now. Like this huge puffy tote. This is $29.99. Here's another juicy style that they have that's a little bit more, I don't know, elegant. Still has like the bling, looks more neutral. This one is $29.99. Just checking the perfume here. Uh, look at all the mimic that they have. They have like all of the scents right now. Wow, that's so many. This is $19.99 for the bigger bottles. But yeah, I guess less people buy them because they're in this case. So they have quite a few of those. And then I've never seen, they had the Daisy Love Oh So Sweet there as well, which is kind of exciting. Let's see, it's $49.99. A lot of Daisy Dream as well. I feel like that one's been discontinued. I'm seeing lots of Physicians Formula stuff. They have the Butter Believe It Skin Mist for $4.99 here. And then also their Matte Minoy Bronzer. Did this one come out last year or the year before? This is $5.99. Oh, this is the Putty Primer as well from them. So like the whole butter collection. I know they just got new stuff. I don't know if it's in the butter line, so maybe that's why. This is all here. We saw this palette last week. But yeah, a ton of stuff from them. This is cute. They have a NARS uh, Light Reflecting Powder Press. Just limited edition packaging with little hearts all over. It's the Claudette collection, I think. This is $16.99. I definitely have not seen it this yet. This Anastasia Dip Brow Gel Trio. This is a lot of dip brows. It comes with three. I'm not sure why we would need three. Little minis in a dark brown for $9.99. I don't know. I feel like this product didn't get as popular because, I mean, the dip brow was very popular back in the day. But now everyone does like the feathered light brow when this came out. So, I don't know. I feel like that did not get as much hype. Lots of Glossier stuff here, Generation G matte lipstick. We got some liquid eyeliners as well, and it's some eye glows. A lot of this stuff I feel like I've seen in the past, though, not anything super exciting. So this I haven't seen yet before, the Glossier Stretch Concealer, which is a pretty popular product from them. This is $9.99. There's also a bunch of these G-Suit Soft Touch Lip Creams, which I don't think I've seen here yet. They have a bunch of shades, Jet, Curve. It's like a soft matte kind of lip cream. These are $8.99 each. We got some Lily Lashes. These used to be everything back in the day. I've been noticing like the 2016 makeup trend going around and these were definitely 
Peak 2016, the Miami Light and Goddess. These are pretty big false lashes, they're $9.99 each. So in the last video we found a bunch of the KVD Good Apple foundations, but now they also have the concealer too. I feel like, I don't think I liked this one that much. I just saw one shade, this medium 131. This is $9.99. Okay, here's kind of a crazy find. I just found a Too Faced Cloud Crush blush from them which these came out last year and this is actually the color that went pretty viral it's my favorite shade the candy clouds such a pretty pink it is $12.99 so it's a little pricier than some TJ Maxx stuff but this is such a new product so I'm kind of shocked that it's here already and for one that actually like I think performed really good and did really well so yeah I only saw one shade so far so we'll have to see if more come in but if you do find this definitely pick it up it's super cute it's like a soft buildable color so pretty someone on Instagram found a Laura Mercier body cream like the old version before they repackage everything so I've kind of been on the hunt for that I don't know if it's just a one-off thing but yeah I'm kind of seeing if they have anything else similar to that but so far I don't know the body care is not super exciting yet okay this caught my attention this is a live green pistachio oil infused body butter and I did smell it cuz I didn't know if it would be you know super fresh or have some sweetness to it and this one actually reminds me of the one from pistache skincare which is definitely more expensive this is only $5.99 so I think I might grab this I feel like this is a really good find I also love these Dr. Teal scrubs they have such a nice texture especially the Shea sugar line I love their almond one but so far I've only seen scents I don't really like like the black elderberry they do have these like melatonin and sleep ones which actually could be nice before bed but they do have a really nice formula. These are $4.99 each. They also have a stress relief too. And then I did see that they had this Homeworks soap, which looks fun. This is a Fresh Cotton Clouds Gel Hand Soap. I love the Homeworks candle, so I was excited to see that too. It looks like these little Hemp's Lotion Bears are back again. We did see them, I think, last year. But they have the Warm Vanilla and Amber full size for $8.99 as well as the soft citrus and the sweet cream. The packaging, these, the packaging on these is just adorable. And of course the orange nectar and the cashmere. I don't think any of these I was really obsessed with. They're kind of lighter in scent, but I think they're supposed to be more natural. But if you guys want them, they have a bunch here, it looks like. Also, anytime I see this, I always try to mention the fresh cream from Philosophy Lotion is incredible. I don't see it very often, but this one literally smells like powdered sugar. It's so delicious. This is for $9.99. This kind of excited me for a minute. It's from Josie Moran. It's called Argan Cake and Coffee Body Polish. So I thought it was going to smell like that, but then it says unscented here. <laughs> so that is very deceiving and unfortunate. Otherwise, I totally would have bought this. I mean, their stuff's probably super luxe. I remember their skincare used to be super popular. I haven't heard much about them lately, but this is only $12.99. But I do wish that it actually was scented. Okay, this is cute, but it definitely reminds me of the ColourPop ones that got really popular. But this is just some cute Winnie the Pooh lip balms. There's even a little Pooh-shaped one. And this is $6.99. I guess they're both lip balms. But yeah, one comes in a little honey pot like the color pop but the Winnie the Pooh one's pretty cute too. They also have this huge body wash from Love Beauty and Planet. Their watermelon one is really good and I've never seen it this jumbo size. It's 32 ounces. Let's see, going for $7.99, that's a pretty great deal. And yeah, this smells like literal, literal watermelon candy. They also have the kiwi and peptides as well here. Okay, these remind me so much of Glamnetic. I really thought it was them. These are by Nail Reformation. But they have some really cute styles. This kind of looks like what I have on. But, oh look at this one. How pretty. These are so cute. I did do press-ons for a little bit of time and I did really like them. Here's some fun white sparkle. Oh, that's so pretty. These are $9.99 each, so about, well, you know, half the price of Glamnetic. Not bad. But yeah, I thought that was really cool. Lots of different shapes and styles. I'm just checking out some of the hair accessories. I love these claw clips. I have this style from here as well as the little flower ones. These actually hold a lot of hair surprisingly. But I've noticed that bows are coming back in style and I thought these were adorable. They're very long little bows with pearls. These are $6.99. 
clips, some little donut clips too, some dog and cat ones. It's a little excessive, but yeah, I thought I would share just a few things. They always have some really cute hair accessories. Okay, these are pretty cute. They have these strawberry slippers. I've shared these little smiley face ones. This brand makes some really good ones, but I do find them to be a little small, so I would definitely size up, but these actually come with little socks too. And these are $12.99. They have some juicy little slip-on ones as well with tiny pearls and bling on them. These are $12.99. Here's the cute new floral mug they're putting out. How fun is that? I love seeing all the fun floral prints for spring. This is $4.99. I found some more glass cups too. I always love checking these out and I really like this one. With this floral print, I mentioned in my last video, I always make my iced coffee in these. This is $6.99. So they have a cute little bumblebee one. And then this one has mushrooms and flowers on it. This is a fun water bottle too with daisies all over from Hydro Peak. This is $16.99. I'm kind of looking for a new water bottle that maybe has glass insulated instead of like the metal but I think this one's metal inside. I'll have to keep looking. Of course, we have to check out the candles. Um, did you see they have a Diet Coke candle or Diet Cola? They probably can't say Coke, but that's kind of funny that they would do Diet Coke because I feel like, shouldn't it smell the same as regular? I don't know, I guess it does kind of smell like Diet. I don't know, this is $12.99, but it does smell pretty authentic. I do think this was cute. It's called Sweet Rose Cappuccino. It looks like a little coffee cup. For $9.99. This one smells really good too. Of course it is by DW Home, which I feel like most of the cute candles are. Here's another soda pop one. This, this is lemon lime, which kind of gives off a Sprite vibe as well. Found another soda one. This is root beer. Let's smell it. Oh my gosh, that smells exactly like it. That is crazy how they just nail the scent perfectly. Now this candle smells expensive. This is Santel Woods. And I feel like it might be a good brand too. I mean, I love the whole design of this with the glass encased around it. This one is $12.99. It has notes of cashmere, clove, and bitter orange. It definitely smells very luxe. There's tons more <laughs> mushroom decor, disco ball stuff. I did spot these really cute vases though. It's like a little daisy print for $9.99. I love the pink. And then they have this larger one too. Such a fun print. This one's $12.99. Okay, I was looking at the wall art. First of all, I love this cute little tea set painting that's adorable. Again, from one of my favorite brands. And then they have these wavy mirrors, which I think are really popular. I've always wanted one of those like floor length ones. They're kind of like 70s style. So cute, they have different colors. There's a gold. I don't know if they have the pink, but they have the white and the gold ones. And they're $19.99 it looks like. But those are so fun. Also, look at all of these organizers. But this one really caught my eye. I don't know, it has these fun little floral designs on it. This would be so pretty to store brushes in. $16.99, it's very heavy too. It feels like nice quality. This is a really great fragrance organizer for like mists or lotions. That's kind of what I use for mine. Like I put all my favorites in. I got mine at Target, but yeah, I would definitely check out TJ Maxx and see if they have some. I've noticed some new blankets for spring. They have some really cute florals. This is gorgeous from Cupcakes and Cashmere for $24.99. Love the check print on this one, kind of mixed in with the daisies. Daisies are one of my favorite flowers, so I'm kind of a sucker for anything daisy print. Lots of checker print. This nude is really cute. Ooh, that's fun, like a pink and orange. That's really pretty. They have Easter ones too. Oh, look, this is a little Minnie Mouse. Some more flowers, I like this print too. So, tons of different spring blankets. Here's like a little bunny print. I'm just skimming the clothes real quick. I don't shop this too much because it's just, it's a lot, but I did find a fun Def Leppard tie-dye sweatshirt. I will say this does look like it runs small. It's definitely not oversized, but I love the print on this one. This is $16.99. This one's kind of a similar style where it has that like burnout look. That's just a Corvette logo for $16.99, but it's very bright, like the design. Now this one looks a little more oversized and it's really thick and comfy. 
Um, I think this brand, I think has sold at Nordstrom before. I think I've bought a t-shirt from this line. This is $14.99, it's a Pink Floyd. And it has almost like a holographic print on it, which I think is fun, let me get this string off. But yeah, I think that's kind of a cute one and definitely more true to size or oversized. All right, it's week two, seeing what's new at the stores. I did see they did add this Urban Decay Stay Naked Threesome palette. These are a little bit older. I feel like they launched quite a while, and I think they're discontinued now, but it does come with bronzer, highlight, and blush. This is $12.99 in the shade Rise. More of the Benefit ones, the bronzer and blush duos in Secret Oasis. This is a newer product, so I would probably pick this over the Urban Decay, and they are the same price. A couple more MAC things too. This is a restock on the Lash Dry Shampoo. We found this a few months ago, but it's still a fairly new product. Still need to try this out. It's $12.99. And I also found this Extreme Dimension 24 Hour Kajal Eyeliner in Black for $12.99. This looks new from MAC too. I've never seen this lip formula, the Locked Kiss 24 for our lipstick. Looks like a liquid lip in Vicious for $8.99. Also, we found that Too Faced blush last week, and now we have a couple more lip things from them. So lots of Too Faced restocks. Their Lip Injection Extreme. This is their Bubblegum Scent for $14.99. They also have a bunch of just the clear one, a bunch of the Too Femme Heart lipsticks as well. And then I was really excited to find this lip liner. This is one of their newer ones that launched last year, the Lip Injection Lip Shaper Liner. I actually really liked these. They do actually plump the lips too for a lip liner, which is kind of cool. This is the Post Op Pink Color, $9.99 on that one. And then they have the Lady Bold Longwear Lip Liner in Lead the Way. Also a good formula if you don't want the plumping. This is $8.99. Another Too Faced restock, their Shadow Insurance. This stuff is really good. Definitely recommend. This is for $9.99. It's one of my favorite eye primers. And then I've seen some new Pat McGrath things. These are the Fetish Eyes Longwear Liquid Eye Shadows. I've never tried this formula. I'm kind of curious. This was from, I think, last year's Valentine's collection. The shade is Bronze Bijou. I feel like, yeah, I don't remember if I've heard good things, bad things, so I might just have to try it out for myself. It's $12.99, and I do love a good bronzy shade, so I may try this out, see how the formula is. There's a few things over here as well. Lots of stuff I kind of already went over. I did see some more Makeup Revolution stuff, and they also got in the Grease Collection which is fairly new, so I wanted to show that. So they have the big grease palette in the shape of the car for $12.99. And they also have the pink ladies palette as well for $7.99. Looking at down here, I noticed one little color pop item. I haven't seen their stuff in a while here, but this is one of my favorites from them, the Wild Child palette. It's a gorgeous chocolatey bronze palette. Highly recommend it if you see it. It's $7.99 here. Okay, in perfume this week in the glass cases, I spotted something finally from the Laura Mercier body line. It's a perfume. I think I'm definitely gonna grab it. It's the Almond Coconut Scent, $24.99. I have to have it for that price. I feel like that's pretty good. They did add a bunch of Coach scents in two and a Kate Spade Cherie so some new goodies wanted to point out this fragrance because this is actually a really good dupe for the Sol de Janeiro perfume this is from the good scent company it's called solar floral smells exactly the same to me so definitely a must-have for only 14 at 99 such a good price and I feel like this is just as strong as the Sol de Janeiro actual perfume so they have a bunch of those right now definitely check that one out it's so exciting I never really pay much attention to this brand but they are definitely one to watch okay I saw a post about these on um, Instagram from someone and I was hoping to find them and I can't believe I did you guys know how much I love these glass tumblers and they have Hello Kitty print ones like obviously I have to get this for $7.99 I'll just get one but that is so cute so excited I found it they also have just other Sanrio characters here and they even had like a Marie from Aristocats one and look at all these Hello Kitty cups oh wait I found another one with little red hearts that's adorable okay maybe we'll get one of each and then all these Hello Kitty cups oh my gosh so cute 
love that. I just spotted this cute little Hello Kitty vacuum too, which I might pick up. It's a little mini vacuum that you could clean your desk with or like your makeup desk to clean up any powder and stuff. Since it's a small area, I had one that I got off Amazon that kind of broke, so we'll try this one because I mean, it's really cute. Let's see, this is $9.99. They did get in a couple cute Michael Kors bags. I like these little ones. I love the chain on this one too. This is a cute brown color. This is for $109, but this one behind it, probably my favorite. This feels like such a soft leather. I love the chunky chain on this one and the color and all the studs. It's just so cute. This one is $99. Started selling a bunch of key sunglasses now I'm seeing. These look like the nice like almost fade ones. I feel like this brand used to be very popular. I don't know if they maybe aren't as popular as they used to be, but they're only like $19.99 for most of their stuff and they used to be like what 60 bucks or so so I believe those are the high key which are really popular like aviator style so definitely check and see if your stores have some so I think that's really cool that they started selling those here all right guys I just got back home and I want to share with you all the good stuff I found because I did buy quite a bit <laughs> um, but the finds were too, too good. Okay, so first of all, I know I did not film this one, but this is a cute little phone case. It says it fits the iPhone 15, which is what I have, so I picked it up. It's by XO Poppy. How cute is this design? I love these kind of just like floral prints. Daisies. Um, the colors, that's just adorable. This was $8.99. Again, with the daisy theme, we got this glass daisy tumbler for, I like, I like to use them for iced coffee. I also throw in drinks in here, like my poppy and my Alani drinks with ice. So these always come in handy. I did buy both of the Hello Kitty ones as well. This one I feel like is a little bit light. It doesn't like pop as much, but I thought it was cute. And then I got this one, which definitely seems to pop more. It's a lot brighter with the red hearts. So some new glass cups, which these have just been my go-to. Like I used to kind of collect Starbucks cups and all that, but now these are kind of my obsession. So <laughs> I've been kind of finding those lately. Okay, I bought some leggings. My favorite leggings at TJ Maxx are Yogalicious Lux. These feel like Lululemon to me. They are like the closest thing that I have found to Lululemon because I love my Lulu leggings. These are $16.99. I just love this material so much. I am so excited about this body butter. They have tons of these at the store right now. It's called Live Green Pistachio Oil Infused Body Butter. It smells just like the pistache one that is a super viral on Amazon that I love. It smells exactly the same to me. It's a delicious pistachio biscotti type of scent. This is a lot cheaper than the pistache. This is only $5.99. I also wanted to try these Pemograph liquid eyeshadows. They've been on my list to try forever. So I got bronze bijou. I just saw one shade so far, but this looks beautiful. I love bronzy toned like eyeshadows. This is a fast drying formula, but it does have this gorgeous metallic sheen. I'll have to see how these look on the eyes, but I like to just throw these on when I'm in a rush in the mornings, um, just to have some nice like some metallic sparkle to the lids. And then lastly, I did grab the little Hello Kitty mini vacuum. I mean, I couldn't resist. There is so much cute Hello Kitty stuff at TJ Maxx. And I know a lot of you guys love the Hello Kitty stuff like me. It's just, I don't know, I feel like it's a millennial thing. I've always loved Hello Kitty. When I was in high school, I had like a whole Hello Kitty collection. I've just always loved Hello Kitty for some reason. So I grabbed this cute little vacuum, which will definitely come in handy for my computer desk. So that is everything I picked up from TJ Maxx. Such a good couple weeks lately. They've just been killing it. And I've had like even more fun just shopping other stuff besides makeup because I have such a big makeup collection. But I find so much good fragrance, body care. I did pick up that Laura Mercier perfume and then I immediately returned it. <laughs> like I just did not like it. I've never really liked their amber vanilla one either, but 
I mean, it had like a slight coconut smell to it, but it just wasn't, I wasn't feeling it. Even for $25, I have to like love it to keep it. So I did buy it and then I returned it because I was like, mm, no, it's this is not for me. So that is it for this TJ Maxx video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you guys found some of this stuff too. Let me know what you guys are finding. We found some pretty good stuff, especially excited about like the Too Faced finds. I was gonna buy that lip liner, but it was swatched. Um, maybe we'll find some more but I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys